In this chapter, we're going to look at precomposing layers and nesting compositions. In the next movie, I'll show you how to do it, but in this movie, I want to show you why you'd want to do such a thing. I'm using this precomposing project you'll find in the Chapter 20 folder. I have here this not precomposed composition, and I've animated this knight doing some knightly thrusting. Yeah. And let's say, for example, that I wanted to edit all of these layers at once. In this composition, there are many, many layers, 17 to be exact, that comprise this knight. Let's say I wanted to make him larger. If I selected all these layers by hitting Command A or Control A, then S to reveal the scale property, and then scrub that scale property, you'd see that each one of these pieces scales independently. They don't act as a whole. I hit S again to close those out. Let me undo that scale change, <laughs> and then deselect. Now what we could do to solve our problem is render this knight out as a movie and then re-import it. But if we do that, then we don't have access to all the individual layers. If we wanted to make a change, maybe change his color or resize him or shrink him down or rotate something, we couldn't do it. And so the solution here is to pre-compose the layers, basically turn all these layers into its own composition. Now just so we can visualize this here, I've done this already in the pre-composed composition. All the layers from the knight are grouped into this pre-comp knight composition. So essentially, we would say that those layers were pre-composed and that this layer is a nested composition. In other words, a composition that is a layer in another composition. But now we're free to scale the object as we please and transform it in any other way we want. We could even add effects to this. Let's say, for example, we added a hue saturation effect. Apply that, maybe change the hue, change the color here. So you see that all the layers that make up the night are being affected because we're applying an effect to the pre-composed layer. We could also now duplicate this night as we'll see in the next movie. In many ways, pre-composing a layer is almost like spitting out a movie and bringing it back in again, except that these layers are directly editable. I can double click this nested layer. This composition will then open. And let's say, for example, I took the helmet. This is gonna look rather weird, but let's say I had him tilting his head looking up by rotating it. If I go back to the pre-composed layer, we see that he's looking up. So you have the best of both worlds. We're able to group and organize our layers, but we also have complete access to all the layers and properties. In the next movie, I'm going to show you how to do this, and we'll also look at a little mini project to help you see how this might be used in the real world.